If you've ever been in a situation where your XI robot won't reach a specific quadrant because of either internal or external collisions that you thought shouldn't be there, even though you use the system's laser and voice guided setup, I promise you, you're not alone. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to manually target and optimize your XI robotic docking process, not only to optimize docking, but to minimize frustration during your case and also to significantly speed up the docking process. If you're new to this channel or don't know me, I'm Dr. Mark Solomon, Chairman of Colorectal Surgery for the Advent Health Central Florida System, formerly known as Florida Hospital, and also the Program Director of the Minimally Invasive Colorectal Surgical Fellowship at the Corn and Rectal Clinic in Orlando. While you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get notifications as I'm adding content to this and many other series regularly. All right, so one may ask, why in the world would you not want to use the targeting process that the DaVinci XI robot offers? And it's a good question. And the truth is, sometimes it actually over or under rotates and ends up throwing you into a situation in which you just can't physically perform the operation correctly. And this can happen in multiple instances, either if the scope is rotated in a specific direction, if you point to the wrong structure during the targeting process, if you don't hold and steady the camera and the port when it's targeting, a multitude of issues can actually come. And so that's why it's extremely important to actually know how to do this process manually so you know how to get yourself out of trouble if the targeting process either fails or to keep yourself out of trouble entirely and just do it manually. So as expected, the process begins by placing the patient in a Trendelenburg position left side up and bringing the robot in with the crosshairs pointed right at the camera port as usual. Then either the person driving in the robot can rotate the boom manually so that you can see the laser line lines up in a parallel configuration with the trajectory of the ports or you can do it yourself by manually grabbing the boom as I'm going to show here in a second. Now what you can't see in this video is that behind arms number one and four, there's a clutch button that you can press and then rotate the upper portion of the boom so you can line up the laser in that parallel configuration as I mentioned. Now the next step here is to either raise or drop the boom to line up the height just right. And you can do this by pressing the port clutch button for three seconds, either at the highest or lowest point that the vertical arm wants to go. And by doing that, it allows the vertical height of the boom to go up or down. Once this is done, dock all the arms to the robot. And then really what you wanna do now at this point is line the trajectory of the camera port with the center part of your dissection as I'm pointing here, and then arrange all the other flex joints, which is the topmost joint parallel to that arm that is the camera port. So now's a good time to pause and just say, I have a top down approach to docking the robot. The very top thing that I'm looking at is a laser. And the very first thing that we did was we pointed that very top portion of the robot, the laser, to the camera port. Once a robot is docked, then the next thing that I will visually see are the flex joints, which I just pointed out just a second ago. So that visually speaking, the laser is the very top thing that I deal with first. The next thing is a flex joints. Now visually moving down the robot, the very next thing that I'm gonna see are the patient clearance joints, which you see going down. The patient clearance joints in general, you want those things to go down as far as you possibly can get them without hitting the patient. And in general, on pretty much all cases, whether it's right colectomies or left colectomies, low anterior sections or whatever, pretty much always arms number one and two go all the way down. Arm number four is usually all the way up because on an LAR, you're hitting a knee or on a right click, you're going to hit a head if you go too far down. And then three is plus minus. Sometimes that's up, sometimes it's down, We're just depending on the spacing of that case. So again, arms number one and two, almost all the way down, always. Arm number four, almost all the way up, always. And arm number three is kind of plus minus in between. So that top down approach starts at the laser, goes down to the flex joints, goes down to the patient clearance joints. And the very next thing that I do is I take a look at the actual ports themselves, burp the ports and take any tension off the fashion. The very last thing that I do is clear the nozzles of the port to ensure that I'm not going to rub the patient during the operation. All right, that about wraps up this video on how I manually dock the XI robot for what, in my opinion, is a less frustrating process to get the case done. Let me know in the comment section your opinion on all this and how you actually take care of it. And in the meantime, also, please let me know what other videos you'd like to see posted to the channel. All right, thanks. Take care.